We mentioned uh, Garth off the top, mm. and, and it has been 30 years since Garth Brooks started off his string of hit songs with the dance. That's a lot. Oh, I love that song. He did, of course, take some time off away from the spotlight, mm -hmm. you remember. But the singer is now back in a big way with a new album and a stadium tour. Now, he was recently just down the road in Bradenton to participate in spring training with the Pittsburgh Pirates. No, he's not hoping for a shot at the big <laughs> leagues. He was actually shining a light on his charity, Teammates for Kids. And I caught up with Garth right after practice. Take a look. Brooks, you're not only like a record-breaking singer, songwriter, extraordinaire, but you are a really good baseball player. No, no, you're sweet, man. I'm having fun, and these guys make you feel like a big leaguer. It's fun. Are they putting you through your paces? Yeah, they are. Sore in hell, if I can say that. <laughs> it's uh, everything on me hurts right now, but it's so much fun. It's you don't mind it at all. But you look like you've really slimmed down. Is that because of these workouts, or did you change your diet, or what? What happened? You've transformed. I think I've slimmed down since I got here, and I'm also 30 years older than when I got here last week. So it's uh, it's all the good things, and it's it, these guys just it's fun, man. They make you feel like you fit in. 57 years old now? Yes, ma'am. How much fun are you having? And that's the name of your new album. Having a great time, man. It's just in a good place in our lives. And uh, thank God I'm healthy enough to come out here and uh, try not to embarrass myself and uh, take some hacks with these guys. He was in spring training with the Pittsburgh Pirates to shine a spotlight on his charity, Teammates for Kids, which helps underprivileged children play sports. How this thing works is you'll take a player and he'll give you 100 bucks for every home run. Our job is to find sponsors that'll triple that. So that's 300 bucks for every home run. And then here's how you get in every locker room across the world. 100% of the money goes to kids. That's always been the rule. It will always be the rule. We'll find somebody else to take care of overhead. You might be looking at, you know, the guy that might take care of that. Mm -hmm. But private donors and everything, they'll take care of overhead. So these guys, every penny they raise and three times every penny they raise will go straight to the kids. Garth says his fans keep him going. And he's thankful audiences have welcomed him back into the spotlight. The people have been very sweet. Uh, you know, to let you, the greatest gift I've ever received in my life was for them to go, no, go home, raise your kids. It's great. 16 years. And then the second greatest gift I've ever received was them to say, oh, you want to come back? Come back. So it's been really, really sweet. The new album is called Fun. Yes, ma'am. Thank is you for knowing that. Is that because of what's happening in your life right now, or what is that all about? Yeah, I think so. It's just kind of where I'm at right now. So even the sad songs are fun to do. And um, so we've got a lot of, you know, stupid songs on here called Party Grawl, which is a lot of fun. And uh, we've got a dive bar song on there. And then, of course, All Day Long's out right now. So when uh, Stronger Than Me, so it's, it's pretty cool. And because of the way the industry now has turned, now you get three or four singles before you ever even release the album. So hopefully people know what they're getting. Garth has been happily married to fellow country music superstar Trisha Yearwood since 2005. Trisha, your lovely wife, has said you don't go five days apart. This is true, correct? She is here. Yes, she is here. What's she up to? I hope she is sleeping. Because <laughs> if you've kept up with her, the last five days has been nonstop for her. She's been in New York, she's been in L.A., and she's doing this thing called Let's Be Frank, this album that she's releasing. So she's also traveling with an orchestra. So uh, they're working her like a rented mule right now. But it's great because somebody's got to keep me in the life I've grown accustomed to living kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, so now she's home and she's here. And I'm hoping that she's sleeping in. Her coffee's already made, waiting for her. And that's my job. And then when I get home from the park, we'll have some lunch and hopefully go walk uh, on the beach. And I assume she does most of the cooking because she's an incredible cook. But what's your go-to? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to bust or bubble or anything, but I'm kind of the brains behind the whole cooking thing. And so uh, the thing is, she works all the time. So I kind of cook a lot at the house simply because that's my contribution. Because she's busting her ass. And I don't know how it is in your field, but... If in winter entertainment, women have to work a thousand times harder to get a tenth as much. So she's always going. So when she comes home, I just want to know if she's appreciated. And if she wants me to cook, great. She calls it therapy, so she likes it. If you want to, hell, it's going to be ten times better, of course. But I've got my little things that I do that makes her happy. And just to see her smile is everything for me. And she has said you're a lot more giving and more generous than she is. Is that true? Oh, that's sweet. I think each one has to say that about the other. But she, uh, <laughs> she's, um, I can tell you this. Even on her worst day, worst day, I've never been treated, I've never been treated better, even on her worst day. So that's a neat gift uh, for me to get to go home to that every day. Both Garth and Trisha have tours coming up. 
But Garth says he's going to be there for his wife every night. She's given me the last three years of her life on the big tour that we did. So now her thing is, uh, she's got another record she's going to release of contemporary stuff here soon. She'll go out and support it, and it'll be an honor to go to the hotels from city to city with her and just kind of kind of be her best friend, hopefully, through it all. The way he talks about her, yeah. oh, my gosh. It's so nice to see, a, like, a happy showbiz oh. marriage, you he know, gets, after all those years. It's really great. Tears in his eyes yeah. talking about his wife. It's, it's wonderful. so beautiful. You know, he's won 23 Grammys. 23 Grammys, and he just began his stadium tour in St. Louis. How many stops? 30 stops uh, with a total of 10 to 12 per year or over the course of three wow. years. That way he can be with Trisha every night, you know? And that way he can be the number two highest paid country star yeah. in the world. Maybe even higher. <laughs> uh, he promises each concert will be different. So All if right. Garth is coming to your town, check him out. All right. We'll be right back with more daytime right after this.